Should you drop out of college? Absolutely. I mean, what are you waiting? Okay, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> You. you haven't even watched the full video yet. If you drop out and your parents come screaming at me, it, it, it's not my fault. I really did. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so I was supposed to be using this board to, to write things and uh, to be honest, I just, I just, like, I was bored so I drew a, a smiley face and uh, this will not be used at all in this video. I just have it here to make me seem more intelligent and smart. You know, because I went to college. <laughs> Let's get serious. Should you drop out of college, and maybe you're not in college and you're a junior or senior in high school and you're thinking about college the next year or in two years, should you pursue that goal and continue with that? Now, do not make any conclusions too early in this video because I have a point all the way through until the end. So let me ask you something first. If you made $100,000, $500,000, $1,000,000, $10,000,000, million, $20 million, do you believe a college degree, a piece of paper, well now I already, already gave it away, a piece of paper would promise you any of that type of money? No! Absolutely not. You're right. It, it absolutely will not. My exercise physiology degree, my piece of paper stating that I have a bachelor's degree in exercise physiology, exercise science and health promotion, does that promise me an opportunity with let's just say the New England Patriots or does that promise me something at my local gym or a college football team, sports medicine, physical therapy? No, it doesn't promise you anything. What it does is it gives you the knowledge to now put into effect with whatever your career is going to be in the future. Right now, I own a company called Cal Aesthetics. It means a journey towards a physique using bodyweight training. Would I have been where I am today without my college football career? Would I have been where I am today without my exercise physiology degree? No, I would not be. But I would say this, the opportunities that came without my actual degree have been far greater than the opportunities that have arised from my actual degree. And the only reason why I bring that up is because I'm in a situation right now where everything that I am running is completely different than going in front of a whiteboard and learning from a teacher and telling experiences of, of how they live. Until you're in the real world, until you're running a company, until you're watching someone run a company, you really don't know what goes on. Did I know that I would have to create lead pages and I would have to understand every single aspect of graphic design and web development and learning how to create lead pages and create partnerships and talk to someone with kindness even though I was pissed off and all of that? No, I didn't learn any of that in college. But I would say this, what I have learned in college is very, very influential in my life and with my business. Why? Well, because I am still dealing with exercise and physiology. I'm still helping people through their biomechanics and kinesiology, and I also have credibility. I have an exercise physiology degree from Florida Atlantic University. I have in writing that I went to school, I studied, I worked hard, I passed, and now I am where I am. So, what I say to drop out of college, that's a decision for you to make. Would I say not to go to college? That's a decision for you to make. Will I say that $1 million is realistically going to happen if you have a degree? Absolutely not. You create your own opportunities. You create your future. And that's the damn truth. If you have the opportunity to go to college, like many others do not. Many others around the world absolutely do not have the opportunity to go to college. I would say do it experience it, create these networks of people that you see uh, studying maybe business, fine arts. If someone is studying the same degree that you, you're studying, form friendships around that. Because if anything, college brings a lot of friendships. It brings an understanding of small things within your actual field of study. For exercise physiology, I really learned about the human body and how it works and biomechanics and kinesiology. But now that I, that I do more body weight training and stuff like that, 
I have learned because of the degree for four years that I've learned everything from Coach Pica with uh, strength and conditioning, advanced methods and all of that, all the way to exercise physiology class. I have learned how to work with people all around the world rather than just one at a time. To take it from one at a time, personal training, to a huge client list of thousands and thousands and thousands of people on my Body Evo program, I wouldn't have learned how to scale that. I would have had to take years and years to learn that through school, which they don't even really teach you the business aspect of, the, of what's happening in reality. Only a true friend would be that truly honest. And I have friends that are currently going for their business degree. I have friends that are learning more and more about art and creating a, a style with their hand and uh, digital, all the designs and Photoshop and all of that. And even they tell me, they don't teach you how to sell. They don't teach you how to brand yourself. They don't teach you how to create a passion for yourself. It's not there. What is there are the relationships. What is there is credentials, which yes, they're very important. But to make money nowadays, it's not as important as you think. I have friends that are running a company right now in the exercise physiology world, or the exercise science or the fitness world, and they have nothing but just a, a high school diploma. They didn't even go to college. I know multiple people who are making 50 million, 100 million, 150 million dollars. You know what they have a degree in? They have a degree in like, like one of them has it in fine arts. The other has it in, uh, I don't even remember, it was like biology or something like that. <laughs> so they went to school, but after school, they took on opportunities that were a little bit outside of their realm of understanding or education. And they took it to a whole different level with that. So my suggestion for you is to look at your surroundings, look at where you are. If you have the opportunity to go to school for free, heck yeah, go to school for free. But if you don't have the opportunity and you feel like your debt is going to pile on and pile on and pile on and pile on for years to come and you're gonna have to pay it off and it's gonna cause stress in your life and you're just not gonna be living a happy life and you're always gonna be worrying and trying to figure things out, maybe school just isn't for you. And I'm not telling you either or. So if you're a parent watching this, don't attack me. I'm here to help. I'm here to give everyone the opportunity to see the full picture. If you want to make $1 million, if you want to make $100,000, $500,000, $10 million, $50 million, $100 million, you don't necessarily need that degree. So that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. wanted to give you really just each side of the spectrum and see where, where it came from. You know, I, I've trained with professional athletes, anywhere from Anquan Bolden, Eric Berry, Jacoby Ford, to many, many others. I've also trained with different companies. I, I've seen many companies just, just drop and they couldn't make it. I've also seen athletes go to the top and work their whole life for something and then just be punched in the face at the end or slapped in the face saying, no, you're not good enough, or, or no, the opportunity isn't here for you. So. I would really love to see you succeed in a way that I was starving for four years ago. But now I have a successful business, I have a beautiful office, I live in sunny California, Santa Monica, I live five blocks from the beach, I'm living an absolutely great life. Happiness has fulfilled me, it has fulfilled me. And the energy within me and the passion, I didn't learn that from school. but. I learned the good things from school with the knowledge and the creativity and, and things like that from the exercise physiology side of things. Okay, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys next time.